vlog and like right after I started this video which is kind of why I had a weird little bit of a pause she, she wrote uh, so what time do you walk out of the door from work if me picking you is the only way to be able to expedite me continuing to have a job that's what I have to do yeah now now that uh, now that she's relying on me to, to let her get her stuff that I've been telling her for months literally years to get the fuck out of my apartment now now it's important to her. Now I'm important enough to her to, to pick up from work. You know, God knows she couldn't pick me up from work for the last six months because she actually cared about me, right? Because clearly she's, clearly she's never cared about me. Fuck. You know, heaven forbid she'd be concerned about me, you know, walking and maybe getting mugged and getting harassed by homeless people and, 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 and getting hit by cars that, that don't yield to pedestrians and crosswalking those giant killing machine trucks that, generally speaking, are always fatal to, uh, to pedestrians when they hit them, even when the pedestrian had the right of way. Yeah. <laughs> She's willing to pick me up from work today. And she actually has to ask me what time I get off work. I've been telling her my schedule for six months and it's never important enough for her to remember what it is. Wow. Just wow. Anyway, I got a lightning cable from, uh, I'm not going to respond to her because I'm trying to save the battery in my iPhone. Uh, I, at least not yet. But I got a lightning cable for uh, 10 bucks at... Uh, at, at Ross. Usually I can find one for like five or six bucks, but I didn't feel like I had the time to really sift through uh, all the options. I just kind of sift through a few and grabbed the first one that actually looked pretty cool. It was 10 bucks as opposed to one of the ones that was 13 bucks. Um, but uh, <clears throat> so, so yeah, when I get to work, I can plug in my phone and charge it. And when I hit my first break, I'll have enough charge on my phone to respond to her. So, yeah, respond to her then. She shouldn't have to ask me what time I get off work. I've already told her. Already told her. Many, many times. And if she cared about me, if she actually cared about me, like a girlfriend is supposed to care about a man, she would know what time I get off work because she'd have been there picking me up on the days that I didn't have my car. just like so many of my other co-workers have their boyfriends or girlfriends show up or their husbands or wives show up I, I see it all the time I pass, pass by them and they're either waiting by the front door or they're waiting a lot of times they're waiting over uh, where I walk out of the property over there at 79th Avenue they'll be waiting over there and I'll, I'll be like hey what's up and then just oh just and, and sometimes I've seen some women that were frustrated because their boyfriends were late picking them up but at least presumably they were still coming to get them God knows my so-called significant other was never ever coming to get there and now six months later she don't even know what time I get off even though I've told her repeatedly so yeah, I guess I should explain what happened. So, so after I ended my, uh, my video, uh, where I realized that their vehicle wasn't there, my initial reaction, which I, I, I want to clarify, I was wrong about. Now she had sent me in one of the messages that she started sending me. You know, she didn't start messaging me until until last night. All the time between Saturday Saturday afternoon. And me messaging her back saying, hey, where the fuck is my cat on Saturday afternoon? All that time between Saturday afternoon and yesterday, yesterday evening. So late, late yesterday evening. We're talking like, what the hell is that noise? No, it's not me. I hear like a phone ringing sound. It's coming out of somebody's car. Uh, anyway, and there's my bus. Yay. Uh, so yeah, all the time between Saturday afternoon and and uh, Saturday afternoon and late Monday night, she can't even be bothered to contact me. 
And then she finally contacts me to let me know, oh yeah, well, it's, you know, it's supposed to be a happy trip, but it's turned into a bereavement trip. The funeral is tomorrow afternoon. So I expected that she was, you know, would be going to the funeral. And, and by her saying the funeral's tomorrow afternoon, I, 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 I did, she didn't say she was actually going. I assumed she was going. That was me making an assumption and being wrong. Um, come to find out, I guess she actually did, uh, did come home, this, uh, arrived home early this morning. Anyway, I'll finish this when I uh, get off the Thomas bus.